<laughs> Street News, this is Demetrius here reporting live from the Evening Star where tonight Crimson is premiering the local movie. You might have heard about this when City Hall gave some extra money to it to help them along. These brothers have been working on this movie for about three years. And I am standing here with the writer of the movie. Please introduce yourself. Ah, I'm Mike Schimmel, writer of Crimson, and proud to be the writer. What gave you the idea to actually write this movie? I'll tell you the truth, man. We were doing a uh, short film called The Ghouls Next Door. And uh, in the backyard, I told Ken about the actual... Uh, theory I had behind Crimson and he's saying originally it was supposed to be a comedy and it was gonna be like this short film and uh, you know Ken being the uh, great director of the area that he is he said no nah, man it's got to be a full-length action we got to go all out we got to do something that the city of Niagara Falls hasn't done before which is why I consider us different than most filmmakers in the area and you know what that's not a bad thing but like I said I want to be different I don't want to be like everybody else okay okay oh here go here come Ken right now the director of Crimson here he come come over here kid Stay with us for a second. Stay with us. So you are actually the director. Of yeah, Crimson. I'm actually the director. Yeah, you directed it. So what what made you want to get aboard this movie? Uh, me and Mike worked on a little film called The Ghouls Next Door. It's like a 15 minute short. He told me about this project and he's just got good ideas. Great ideas. Yeah. Well, can you tell the people? Because nobody has seen the movie yet. This is the world premiere. Right. It's already about 80 people inside, and the doors wasn't supposed to open to 8. We still got five minutes before it's 8 o'clock. Yeah. Can you tell us what the movie's about in brief? Uh, in brief, it's about a comic book artist named Walter Levity gets into an accident. He wakes up in the hospital. He thinks he's his comic book character. So he thinks he's a superhero, and he goes out and fights crime. He goes out and fights crime? Yeah. And you wrote this, did you help him write? I helped him, man, with the big words. Yeah, he's you know? a co-writer, so. Co-writer, co-writer? Yeah. So this is sure to be a hit. <laughs> we're going to um wait, we're going to be standing out here, you know what I mean, waiting for the actors to pull up, interview them, have a few more questions for, I know you got to get inside and start it up. <laughs> so we're going to have a few more questions, and where can they find this movie at after tonight? Well, by the end of the year, it'll be available on Netflix. You can rent it at Family Video and other uh, different stores. Video on demand or on crimsonmovie.com. And remember, this is the first ever premiere that we had locally of a local movie. Make sure you support Street News. We'll be back with some of the stars of this movie. Hey, moviegoer, how it's going? Oh, it's going peace. It's going peace. I see you out supporting. We see you everywhere. Yeah. What you think yeah, of the movie? Absolutely. I haven't seen it yet, but I got together with Ken and then James, and I'm actually helping support the premiere because I let them use my movie projector for the actual event itself. So... Okay, you seen you seen the previews to it though, right? Oh, absolutely. How it look? Yeah, it's it's dope. It's real nice, especially you know for it being a film that's that's independently created here in the city of Niagara Falls. It's important for people to come out and support that, you know. So how do you feel about our our communities here in Niagara Falls? A lot of people say we don't stand together and support one another. Do you feel that that's true? And do you feel that we need to stand together more as a union and support more events like this? Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's what you're doing right now. You know what I mean? And it's important to keep collaborating with each other and forming these type of coalitions. Like I said, my organization, I'm here working alongside with them, and I saw a way that I could actually add on and benefit them, and then consequently they're also benefiting me. So it's all about community. That's what's important. Okay. Hold on. We got the producer of the film right here. James, come here. You actually the producer of this, right? Yeah, uh, co co produced kind of. Co producer. Yeah. So what made you want to get behind this? Actually, put your money behind this and take a shot at doing something that you know this city don't normally support. Well, you know, I I've known Ken for uh, quite a while now. We got to know each other in a, in from boxing, and uh, at first it started out where he said, "Well, why don't you come and and do a little bit of this movie he was going to put together." Uh, with Mike Schimmel and uh, I said okay and I'm thinking okay I'll just get a small part and you know maybe have a couple lines but maybe maybe he was gonna work something in there where they, I did a boxing scene or something and um, it just sort of um, kept evolving you know I started out with uh, a, a little small role and the role evolved and then we actually had a producer but um, uh, it just didn't see eye to eye in a few things and um, you know we, we parted ways on good terms and um, then I, I we needed somebody else to so uh, you know I went and registered Little Sicily Productions and and uh, we just kind of went from there so it was kind of like an evolving process the whole way okay so I gotta ask you this question how did you feel 
when you actually read the article in sci um, Sci-Fi Magazine, a national magazine honoring your film. I, w I was really excited because uh, you know, you don't think you're going to get into something like that, you know, and, and you hope that, the hope is that it leads to, to other things and the right people see it, you know, same thing with whether it's an interview like this or uh, any um, news interviews, anything, you're hoping that the right person ends up seeing it, hears about the movie, and then you kind of go from there. Now, I remember speaking with Ken early on, right, where, you know, it was money issues, a little, you know, finances dropping out, and, you know, the movie wasn't going as good. When did you actually know that this was a hit, that y'all actually made it? What um, was the moment? You know, I, I think when I saw it, because our editors, I mean, I knew he was doing a great job in directing everybody, and it was such a huge project, and I knew the actors were doing a great job, but, I, you know, the editing, they could they could put all the, uh, together completely wrong, you know, and I was really nervous. Um, but when I seen the trailer, and I seen what a fantastic job the editors did on the trailer, um, and that was Nick Arnett of Travesty Pictures, when, when I seen um, how, how, what a great job they did then, then I knew, okay, we have something here. This, this looks just like anything you would go to the movies and see, you know? Well, why are we at it? Let's check out the trailer, The Crimson. Y'all check out the trailer, we'll be right back. I was hoping you could tell me that. Tell me, did you get him? Did you get that piss at Walter Levin? Did you get him? The MRIs indicate that his hippocampus, actually, his whole limbic system may be damaged. We're gonna make some calls. We're gonna find out everything about this guy very soon. Why should we give you this opportunity? Because I know what goes on behind those cells. I don't belong in no cage. Right there in that room, that's where I found my brother, Stab. This isn't just about me and my pal. What the hell happened to the city? And now if you go out there and start fighting crime for yourself, they'll eat you up. Organization, no structure. You're supposed to watch him. You're supposed to take care of your brother. I know this. I am God. I am God. Here go people coming from everywhere. Would y'all mind if we ask y'all a few questions? Y'all here for the premiere of the movie? The premiere, yeah. Yep. What y'all think? What made y'all come out today? Uh, I work behind the scenes, so you I work behind see. The, oh, you yeah. behind the scenes, you too? Oh, no, I'm just checking. You work behind the scenes? How was it working behind the scenes with all these stars? It what? was fun. It was, was fun? fun. Yeah, they're Okay. Awesome. Go and check out the movie. Good. Have a nice time. More movie goers. Here goes some more. They just keep coming. They walk in, drive in, everything. Come on up. Come on up. What's up? From the hype of the movie, what y'all think so far? Is I'm super excited. I'm super I'm, excited. Yeah, dude, I'm stoked for this. Yeah, y'all just walked up here, so I know y'all gotta really want to see this movie. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, Ken's really. been a friend of ours for a while. Like we fucking support him. We love him, you know. And there's some other people in the movie that we know, so we're just out here supporting them, dude. We love them. Well, nobody shouted out Niagara Falls Street News. Can y'all do that for us real quick? Niagara Falls Street News. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Have a nice time at the movie. <laughs> this Demetrius back at you again. I'm here with Laza Gang's own Rico, who came out to check out this movie, Crimson. So what what you expecting tonight? I just want to see how the local talent, you know. I'm always out to support the local talent, so I'm just trying to see what's going on with them, you know what I mean? Coming out to the support, you know what I mean? Giving your support. Is this the whole Laza Gang support you supporting with? Come on, man. I am Laza Gang. If I'm in the building, the whole Laza Gang is in the building, man. So, you know what I mean? Put each other on, man. That's all I'm about. Support my. I'm gonna support anything that got to do with my city, man. 
and y'all make sure at the end of this year y'all buy the DVD Crimson it'll be in stores it'll be on Netflix make sure y'all cop that DVD